Okay, then we're going to move on to Stacy Ganson. Hey. Can you hear me okay? Yes, Stacy, go ahead. Good morning. I'm Stacy Jensen. I'm representing my and I'm also a member of the um, advocates for Michigan use. Um, what I'd like you to know about my child is that he will absolutely either kill himself or somebody else someday. Absolutely. There's not a doubt in my mind. I've known him his entire life. He's been different from day one. He currently holds a diagnosis of a potential thought disorder. It just depends on which side. as he's only 16. However, he does have auditory and visual hallucinations daily, as well as homicidal and suicidal ideations. He has been violent against himself, his caregivers, in school, you name it. We do have a SED waiver. We currently receive uh, <clears throat> psychiatric services through CMH, in-home therapy services through CMH, and wraparound services through CMH. And he is currently at his second hospitalization at Hawthorne Center. In the last three years, we have also been to White Pines, Pine Rest, and Mott Children's Psychiatric Facility. What I would like you to know about the current Michigan mental health system is that it is a fast track to jail simply for lack of training and education. I didn't even know about the said waiver until I joined the Facebook group. I have experienced several sub par medical providers our psychiatrist at CMH was happy to comply in continuing to prescribe a stimulant that Hawthorne Center put my psychotic child on. Anybody can use Google and see that that's a bad idea. At Hawthorne Center specifically, my son personally has been physically, verbally, and sexually abused. I have proof written documentation from Hawthorne of the sexual and physical assault, and I'm awaiting an investigation through recipient rights on the um, verbal assault. None of these facilities are up to par. And the other thing I need you to know is that Hawthorne Center is the only facility in this state that is able to care for my child due to his acuity level. And I don't have the resources to put myself in debt and take him into another state. I am unfortunate to be a citizen of the state of Michigan. And my child or somebody else's will pay for it until we start educating and enhancing these staff members. Every time I call that facility, it's their short staff, they're doing their best. This is nobody's best. I do their job. I'm a CNA at an adult psychiatric facility. I have never physically, sexually, or verbally assaulted a patient. There's no reason for it. I have never discharged a patient without them being ready to go home. That's the problem I faced at Mott Children's Psychiatric Facility. The lead psychiatrist discharged my child while he was delusional. With his CMH team behind my back, I had to refuse to pick him up, for which I was penalized with a CPS investigation for medical abandonment. However, it had already been pointed out to me by his therapist that if I brought him home, they would be reporting me to CPS for endangering my four other children, two of which are starting to show signs of mental health issues for having trauma of being exposed to their brother who's been seeking mental health services in the state of Michigan since he was six years old. That's 10 years now, always in Livingston County, always we're getting nowhere. He's still just as unwell as he was on day one. He's seen specialists at U of M. He's seen specialists at every facility. This is inadequate. This is inadequate. And aside from the staff having poor training, they don't listen to us. I cannot tell you how many times I have pulled a facility my son is not ready to come home. He is still delusional. I can tell you he's not ready. And they either end up back in the facility within a day. It could be a week. I get, <laughs> I get disrespected and told that I just don't want my child to come home. I actually had the director of the um, University of Michigan Psychiatric Facility tell me that my opinion about my child's mental health would hold weight when I graduated medical school. But well, this is unreal. And I got put in a position where I was gonna face a CPS case no matter what I did, trying to keep my family safe, it's unfair. And there's nobody to help me navigate this system. I do have a representative with the wraparound system, one for my son and one for me. I've spoken to my personal, there maybe three times in the entirety of our services. She's offered nothing. 
I have nothing. The best place that I can go for help in navigating the system is my secret Facebook group. And that's pathetic. That's really super sad. Um, I want to thank everybody for your time. And if you have any further questions about things that can be done for training uh, for staff, any kind of remediation, uh, please feel free to reach out. And just the last thing I'd like to highlight for you guys is that Hawthorne Center in Northville is a cesspool for neglect and abuse. And the reason our children are in a turnaround system there is because it's the farthest thing from a therapeutic environment that you can get. Thank, thank you, you Stacy, for your testimony today.